Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the table. My name's Devin. And I'm Liz. And we are Board Game, Board Game, Board Game Hype. That was cute. Nice. And today we're actually doing a new video, a new type of video. It's a discussion video about the unstable gangs. We're actually going to rank all of them based on what we like the most and what game out of the series we like the least. I personally love all of the unstable games and so I kind of had to buy them all. And uh, so yeah, we decided that we thought it was a good idea to try and do this video. Yeah. Yeah. This is just unicorns. Yeah, just unstable unicorns. Yep, yep. We it's have bad. a problem. I have a problem. But as long as you recognize it, it's not a problem. It's recognition. So recognition that is what we're doing in this video today. We're just going to have a discussion about our favorite yeah. games and least favorite games yeah. in the group. All right. So I think just a little bit of background first on the games we're going to be talking about. So starting um, with Unstable Unicorns, that was actually released in 2017. And we're going to go all the way through games released um, until the, last year, 2021. Last year. Yeah. So kind of crazy to think about in four years that this company has so many, so many amazing games. Um, all of their games are two player. All the games we are ranking. Um, Will be from party, yeah. we're not going to be ranking simply because it's four to eight players. And Daring there are, Contest. Daring Contest, I'm sorry. There's two of us, not four. So, so Daring Contest is a party-based game similar to, you know, the Cards Against Humanities where you're going to make it weird, then make it weirder. You're just playing cards to dare right. your friends to do things. It's kind of more of a drinking party style game. So we will not be ranking that because it's not applicable in our list. Yes. But otherwise, yeah, we've got eight games we're going to go through, rank, talk about what we like, what we don't like. So starting with, we have, there's eight. So we're going to start with number eight uh, on our list. For me and you. Yes, we actually ranked number eight the same. What what game did we rank number eight? Happy Little Dinosaurs. Happy Little Dinosaurs. What? Why was Happy Little Dinosaurs on our eighth of the list? So I would say for me, um, this is just a game where it doesn't. I don't have a lot of fun. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't flow very well. Yeah, it doesn't feel <laughs> fully like established, flushed out, play yeah. tested, whatever words you want to use for it. Um, it is made for ages eight plus, so it is right. like kind of family a family oriented game, which I can see a little more. Um, this game was actually released in what was it? This one was 2021. 2021. So it's this kind of is like peak pandemic time. The pandemic, you know, where people were buying games and whatnot. So I'm assuming they kind of just pushed this out a little bit more and they could have spent a little bit more time developing and making the game a little more fun. And I think <clears> theme wise, <throat> they did a fantastic job. Like your flavor text is lately, it feels like we're all just dinosaurs trying to avoid falling meteors. <laughs> like, it's hilarious. I mean, they, all the cards too. They're just so funny to yeah, listen to. Yeah, they've come out with multiple expansions. Like there's a first dates one, um, all of that kind of stuff. First it's just dates. not really the game for us, I would say. Yeah, no, it's, so that's why it's number eight. Um, we just feel like there's just a few more things that yeah. probably could have done a little bit better. Number seven, which is not the lowest on our thing, but it's pretty close, is gonna be Exiled Legends. <clears throat> this one, I will say, this one is really, really different compared to a lot of their games. Very different. Um, thematically and basically the art style and everything is a lot more dark and a lot mm -hmm. more fantasy, you know, heavy fantasy. Yes. Um, <clears throat> it's a game for two to five players, 30 mm -hmm. to 60 minutes, 14 and up. Came out in 2019. The greatest stories are still being written. Such, such elegance. I, I like that actually. Yeah, and so I think with this game, there's a lot of things about this game that I really enjoy. Yeah. But again, I feel like they almost missed the mark just by a little bit. Right. I feel like it was like 85% of the way there. Yeah. And uh, we'll, we'll show some B-roll of, of all the components and stuff in there. But I, I feel like the cool things about this one is that you have player powers. It's similar to if you've played the Pokemon trading card game. There's like an active hero or whatever. And then you have a support. Yeah, uh, you two. have like two supports, kind of makes a triangle. And yeah. you've got like your big hero. Your champion. Your champion that you have to unlock. Yeah. And so it's very cool <clears throat> concept wise, I think. Yeah, but and then the like the, the room, what is it? Runes? Is that what you use or something like that? I can't quite remember, but um, 
you use a certain ability that you can kind of stop your opponent from doing something. And all of these games have take that element. So yes. just keep that in mind too when we're ranking this. I enjoy take that. She doesn't enjoy it as much, but you, you don't hate it. I've learned to like it more. I've learned to take it less personally yeah. when you were kind of me. It is what it is. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so with this one, I think there's just, it has a little deck construction too, which I think is where it kind of fell flat a little bit. Yeah. I don't, I don't like deck construction as much, and I think a lot of newer players would probably not get this one, simply because it has a little bit more complexity. Yeah, I think if I was going to recommend one of their games to a newer player, this is not. This is not going to be on top of the list. Alrighty, let's. You'll, you got the next right one. On. All right, so this is where our lists start to differ a little bit. Um, so my number, number six. six is actually runes and regulations. <laughs> Um, so this is a, again, hilarious flavor. It's a game of suburban sorcery. So you pretend like you are in a homeowners Homeless. association <laughs> and you have like little fences and characters and you use runes to stop things from happening. Um, all of those kinds of things. It's just not my favorite game. I think probably because I always forget to use my runes and so you always kick Well, I don't know, it's a forget. I think you just don't use them. I just like, yeah, it'll be like two turns later and I'm like, oh, I should have Yeah, <laughs> you should have crapped. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that's your number six. That is my um, number six. Which for my number six, I actually put Tic Tac KO, which is the one that came out, uh, Dragons vs. Unicorns came out 2021. Yes. So pandemic East yeah. again, post pandemic a little bit. I mean, it's still going on, but so Tic Tac KO is essentially grown up version of KO, you know, Tic Tac Co. Tic Tac, -tac Toes. Just one toe. Just one toe. <laughs> so you're gonna you're gonna use this grid just like Tic Tac Toe. You're gonna play cards to it to destroy cards, move cards, displace them around, and you wanna get a certain order of cards to a complete objective. Three objectives wins. And yeah. so it's very simple. I mean, super easy. It's just like the classic Super game. easy to understand and learn. Um, but there definitely is some like... Yeah, there's some like tougher, if you don't know like mechanisms, like harder keywords and stuff, like yeah. you're going to learn a little bit how to do that in this. But I put this as uh, number my, number, my number six. Perfect. Yeah. Alrighty. So now let's talk about number five. What is your number five? My number five is actually Tic Tac KO. <laughs> And your number five is... Llamas Unleashed. Oh, okay. Do you want to tell us why you chose Tic Tac KO for number five? Yeah, so I actually, um, I really like this game. This is one where you got it out and I was kind of like, you bought Tic Tac KO? <laughs> you what? You did what? Um, Really the one thing I would love to see with this game would be a actual cloth playmat instead of like oh. a fold up paper. Um, so mad. <laughs> and and or just have a playmat release that yeah. you could just purchase. Um, that would be totally fine as well. Yeah, I don't think they do. Um, that might be in their playmats. Because we have their other playmats. Like we are playmat. I playmats. love playmats. Yeah. So yeah, definitely. I think it's a solid game. It just you know not my number one. Yeah. So my number four, five, five. My number five is Llamas Unleashed. This is essentially the Llamas version of Unstable Unicorns. Yes. And. Spoiler alert, Unstable Unicorns is higher than this, obviously. Um, I do, this one basically is the same exact thing. It just has a herd bonus, herd which is yeah. its only like difference. Whereas um, if you have, let's see, what was it? Three of a kind of a certain type, like of llama, then you can do this certain ability. Yeah, like each one, there's llamas, goats, alpacas, rams. and rams. Yeah, and then so like if you have three of a kind of the rams, you do the ram ability. Three of a kind you llamas. You a ram page. Actually, you get rampunctious. That's what they yeah. tell you. You've got to get this game. Llamas Unleashed is alpacked full of fun. I mean, I'll pack in my bags. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go hiking. Um, so yeah, I I like this one, but it's not as high of a ranking as uh, Unstable Games. Okay. Unstable Unicorns. Let's move on to number four. My number four. Thank you. My number four. Huh. Let's go on. Let, why do you? think that's number four as opposed to the other one. Yeah, so like you said, it's very similar to Unstable. Um, I like the herd bonuses. I mm. It was kind of a fun thing that they added. Um, and it's not a thing you need to play to to win. Like if you don't want to use that strategy, True. you don't have to. You don't really to. need to, no. Um, 
but it is kind of fun and there are certain cards that will like oh you cannot play llamas or oh you can't play alpacas and so i think yeah. there's some more of those kinds of choices which brings it a little there's higher a lot of, list. it does add a little bit of depth to it yeah instead of just playing cards and yeah. killing each other you know it's kind of a cool there's a little, little more like strategic killing cool so you obviously ranked unstable higher I than this. I did rank unstable higher than this. Um, I mean, it's the OG, but... It's the OG. So let's let's move let's on to... Let's talk about your number four. Four. Wrong party. This one. You really like this one. I do love this one. I don't hate this one, but it's... This one, to me, I love what it's doing. There's just a little bit of complexity that kind of... It's like too much uh, analysis paralysis. Is that the word? Yeah. It Where is there's some analysis lot, paralysis sometimes. Yeah. And there's a lot of mem like things you have to remember, and That's memory not is your jam. not my strong suit. So because like you're playing cards, you have cards face down, yes. and you have to remember what cards you placed in your party face down yes. going forward. And so that it gets tough sometimes. It does. So that's the only reason it's kind of ranked a little bit lower than the other games. Okay, perfect. Let's move on to number three. What's, what's your number three? My number three. Is, is the OG. Unicorns. The OG, the original, plus all of its expansions because we bought all of them, which is why we do not have the box because they do not fit. Yeah. So I'm currently featuring baby unicorns and the adorable card sleeves that are offered. Oh, yeah. As they... an additional purchase. <laughs> of course, because accessories. For an additional cost. Um, so my number three is actually runes and regulations. I like this way more than she does. And primarily because I like to use the runes a lot more than she does. And so I think it adds a lot of extra flavor and depth yeah. and stuff that you can do. But I also like games that like you play something to trigger certain events to trigger this. I play those games all the time. That's and true. you don't enjoy those as much as I do. No, I like to collect my resources. Yeah, you like resource Everdale games <laughs> and you kick my butt. But so... I think that's why this is much higher because I like those types of combo. Yeah, that absolutely fun makes games. sense. So yeah, that's my number three. Awesome. Yeah, mine is unstable. The OG. Number two. Your number two. You ready for that? What? I will hand you the babies. My number two is surprisingly not number one. Unstable unicorns, just like she said. And yeah, we do have the whole box load of cards and. Ooh, featured. Yeah. Well, it's Marvel in a Marvel Legendary box because the box that they gave us did not fit any of this. I mean, it starts this size as like your original box. Um, and then we bought, like, this is the Not Safe for Work expansion. We have like the Dragon expansion. We have yeah. like the- We have all of the expansions. Yeah, I mean, every single one we've bought. And, so, and we've put them all in card sleeves. Yes, so that's another reason. I mean, we've sleeved them up. I really hope they do a big box at some point if they keep going with this, because I would buy that I in a heartbeat. Love a big box. Um, but yeah, so Unstable Unicorns is definitely my second favorite of the group. Uh, and I kind of just like it, one, because yeah, it's what started the whole thing. And this is what started me getting into the hobby. Yeah, this was a gateway game for This was a gateway for game for me. I, I saw this on the, the shelves, what was it, Target or Walmart or something. And I looked at it and I was like, huh, this looks a lot like Magic the Gathering because I played that religiously for the last right. few years. Yeah. So I was like, okay, maybe this is an easy version to get her to play Magic. Right. And we played it and I was hooked instantly. I yeah, bought... you were hooked immediately. That's kind of what got me into the, looking into the hobby market. And so I think I have a strong nostalgia with this game specifically. So. Okay. What do you All got? Right. My number two is Wrong Party. Um, I do like this game more than you do. I prefer um, the right party, but, you know. Well, I like to make it awkward, so. Let's make it wrong weird. Party. And then make it weirder. Um, Proceed. But no, so I love um, that there are so many decision points. Um, mm -hmm. And so instead of kind of an ana analysis paralysis for me, I feel like there are just a lot of different avenues that you can pursue. I yeah. like that it's kind of, um, we like, pass, what's that called? When you like Dra pick a card? Drafting. drafting? Oh Thank yeah, you. it has drafting I was like, mechanism. It's not like a deck, but like. That's true. So I like the drafting mechanism. Um, we played this at two player and at four player. I actually like it at both. Yeah. Um, wasn't bad at both. So yeah, it's just kind of one of those, it has some take that, but it's not as strong take that, which is yeah. why I think it ranks so high for me. When I think with, with two players, again, just like all these games, you have to fine tune your um, your strategy a lot more yes. than if there was four players. Because with four players in this, you're drafting, you never know what the heck you're right. gonna be doing. 
With two, you kind of know exactly what they're doing as yeah. the cards it's come It's very through. much if you can watch the cards and know what's like, yeah. you can very much predict your opponent. All right. Finally. Dun, dun, dun. Our number one game ranked in the Unstable Games is... The same for both of us. Here to Slay. <laughs> Why is Here to Slay our number one? It's so good. Like, like it's so good. It is a strategic role-playing fantasy card game from the creators of Unstable Unicorns where you assemble a full party of heroes and slay monsters while sabotaging your friends, crossed out enemies. Enemies. Brace yourself for a fast-paced, adorable, and utterly destructive adventure. So, I mean, how can you not? Fast-paced. Check my box right there. So fast-paced. Destroy your friends. Okay? Cool. Take that. Feels good. Destructive adventure. Role-playing. What is it? Strategy. Dice rolling. Fantasy. Dice rolling. It's got everything. Like, so I, the cool thing too about this is do you actually have an online generator where you can make your own heroes? Yeah. So we haven't done that. I looked into it. We have to actually sit down and do it one time. But you can make your own heroes and kind of do whatever you want. So you can design your own role-playing version of it, which mm -hmm. is really cool. But it's so simple. I love that there's two win conditions, essentially. Yes. You can get six, five six or six classes. classes or you can destroy three, slay three monsters. Yeah. And you do that by rolling the dice to then hopefully you get in a certain dice roll yeah. threshold of higher, and then if you do, you can mm -hmm. destroy the, the monster. But there's take that elements where players can play modifiers, right. challenges, mm -hmm. uh, and whatnot to reduce And I think that. it's done really well because some monsters you have to roll, oh, higher than eight. Some monsters it's less than four. Like So there's a lot of difference and it's like, oh, you need three heroes or you need two heroes and one specific class of a hero and all of those kinds of things. So right. I love that you can go for monsters, you can go for multiple classes, you can kind of do both. And I think it's a game where like as an underdog, which I am 100% the underdog in all unstable mm. games, yeah. um, you can come back. Uh -huh. Like you really can. Sometimes in like unstable unicorns, you get to a point and it's just it's like- It's kind of too much, yeah. It's over, it's over. Like you have the There's extremely not fertile lights. unicorn and like we're just, <laughs> it's done, it's yeah. over. But this one, you can well, come I think, back. I think even our last game, you were crushing me. I was. And then I came back to win, and it you, was like, yes. what? It was the ultimate underdog story. And I normally go for the classes because I like having the multiple different things. I do feel like slaying monsters is a little easy. You know, It is sometimes, though. I guess if you're playing like, two-player, though. Like, two-player, right. it's pretty easy. Two-player, it is, especially if one person is going for classes like he usually does. Right. Like, I will try to slay monsters way earlier in the game uh -huh. when it's just the two of us than when it's a four-person game. Because I'm like, right. ah, who cares if I die? It's fine. Right. And so I will say most of these games um, do really well at multiplayer as well. I mean, yeah. like, if you think about it, if you play Magic at all, head-to-head, uh, it, -head, it's like, okay, it's fine, but it's more competitive. Multiplayer Magic is like, you do this to help this person, but then there's politics involved. Yeah. And that's where it gets fun, is you're like, huh, I, I think I want to kill that minion or whatever, but I really would like you to help me here next turn. Right. And you could do that with this kind of thing. So, yeah. here's Slay is our number one. That has been ranking the unstable games from, it's like our top, what? It's top, our top eight. Top eight ranking of top unstable games. Eight. And I would probably put this game like in my top 10 games. Oh, you heard it here first, folks. Like, this is, this one's one of those you pull it out and I want to play it every time. Cool. Well, I, I'm, my name is Devin. And I'm Liz. And we are Board Game Hype, and we hope you check out one of these games from the Unstable Games. I will probably put a link at the bottom because I like them that much. But and until next time, <laughs> I'm going I'm to get my runes. And I'm going to get my monsters. And we're going to clash and... Say goodbye. Psh.